Hello duckies and welcome back to Queen's Wish the Conqueror. My name is Viola. We are actually going to be heading down to the Scorpion Pit to deal with that uh, today. But first I'm just going to finish up glancing around here. Seeing if there's anything that I should do. What? I haven't come across her before. There's beggars sitting by the east wall of Pitassa. Her kind must be tolerated by the stern bowl as long as they stay stay well out of the way. She takes her wooden bowl as you walk by. Hope for humble Mesca. Then she looks closer. I have heard of you. You have heard of me. The low people of the bowl will talk. We cooperate. It's the only way we can stay alive. We have all heard of what you did for one of our kind in Merba. How'd you come to be a beggar? I have had misfortunes. We've all were private about such things. You should only know there is worse. What would be worse? Life is hungry and hard. I would die on these streets. However, I am free. I have no debt. I will never be Owen. The Masha want me, but they won't claim me. Tell me about the Masha then. They are always eager to find those of us in debt. They change the laws to hurt the free, in the hopes that they will fall into debt. They hope to ensnare us all. It is so much worse than it was when I was young. They will never have me. I would rather die. That is all she wants to say about this. What would you like? She shakes her wooden bowl. It dishonors me to ask. Still, I must eat. I give you some information. She shakes her head. There is a war. I will do nothing to make anyone think I am a spy. If there are rumors about me, I will be killed by one side or the other. I will help you. Ten coins is a lot for a person in her position. She bows her head deeply. This will sustain me for some time. I am so grateful, Havenite. We bid her farewell. Ten coins is nothing to me. Rollin' Owen. Uh, trade with you? Sure, I'll take some stone. Despite it not going in my inventory. Augmented. Let's move it to the next person. Uh, healing bonus. Nope. What should that? Plus four to maximum health. Prefer that. Makes them mostly organized now. Alright, so let's look at our map and let's see didn't I already no I did not deal with the scorpion pits yet because they are right down here oh water bears any news about this land 
more in sadness. Good day. So this is the way to the scorpion pits. I have discovered the scorpion pits. Tra la la. Anyway. Okay, so we have a scorpion problem here. The sign ahead identifies this place as the scorpion pit. A pair of majestic towers are perched at the edge of a deep pit. This place must have a greater significance than its humble name implies. There are no guards visible, or workers, or scorpions for that matter. To the north you see a stone platform extending out over the pit. As you look around, you hear a strangled shout to the north. A human figure stumbles out from the behind a stone pillar. The man you saw by the pillar is a wolf scout. He leans on his sword to keep standing. It is covered with green slime, probably from the huge smash scorpion on a nearby path. He's bandaging a nasty sting on his leg. He looks up at you. He is faint. I... I'm Nanar. Are you real? You are? Not an escape prisoner? I... He wobbles. Sorry. Got stung. Are you alright? Can I help you? He waves you away and finishes bandaging his leg. It'll be... I'll be fine. It's had worse. Just have to get back to Vitessa. I... He looks at you again. You're not a prisoner. You're not bold at all. You're from... Haven? Yes. I am from Haven. Well... You should learn about us, then. Welcome to the Scorpion Pit. Important place. We feed our worst criminals to the Scorpion here because... Not sure why we do it. Tradition, I guess. He gently pokes the sting wound on his leg. The Scorpions got out. Swarmed the place. Nobody has forced them back. How did the Scorpions escape? Probably not enough guards. We all had to go fight rebels. Then someone forgets to close the door and... Swarm. I suppose I want to make this place safe again. We appreciate it. I suppose if you can go below and kill enough of the scorpions, a patrol can come in and take control. Lock the rest in. You should get back to safety. Thank you. Good luck here. Watch out for the bugs. They're treacherous little wees. Staggers off to the south. Hello, scorpions! Scorpion friends are not what these are. here when the scorpions escape and swarm. Your names jump out at you. Aziza, you Kaddish spy. Adadanu, horse thief, and Tarin, necromancy. Necromancy, I can understand. Horse thief? You, you killed for a horse thief? I mean, I can also understand spy.
suppose it really depends on how many horses exactly. down into the pit. Dorted Scorpion Cave Slot. Okay. Mm, maybe upstairs or in the other tower. There's a book over here. Ledgers thick and old, it lists the last 200 years or so of condemned criminals who were fed scorpions here. The crimes they committed to be sent here are pretty serious. A lot of murder, some treason, and other offenses of similar importance. You note that no Olin have been sent here. Interesting. I mean, it is good that they haven't said Owen here. But then that's because they're not trying to kill the Owen, they just try to force to open the sturdy wooden door. It's been barred for me. It's oh, well. <coughs> The stone platform hangs out over the edge of the pit. Rows of sun bleached benches are lined up facing it. You think back to your tutors forcing you to learn about vassal anthropology. This is a place for execution. Shows all the signs. Happily, the will only kill serious criminals here. Other vassals are less picky about their killing. Of course, the thing is that they don't kill them because they they don't kill the Owen because they want them to pay off the debt. could have been with him and I probably should have asked him more questions but I mean come on the guy had been stung there. oh wait there's a way upstairs there we go anybody up here Hello? There's a trembling bull hiding in the far corner of this room. Uh, the horse thief. He wears scavenged armor and holds a sword in an unsteady hand. He is sweaty and filthy. You can smell him from here. The key hangs from a chain around his neck. I am a Dadanu. And you will not throw me off your ledge. I die a warrior. I'm a horse thief. I admit it. A lowly, dishonorable thief. Still, I will not die dishonorably as food for vermin. I will die fighting. You stole horses. That's all. Adadanu is surprised by the question. He looks more closely at you, only realizing now that you are not bold. He says, In this harsh land, losing your horse often means death. It is punished as murder because it is all. It so often becomes murder. I admit it. I will pay. Give me that key and I can spare you. There's no sparing for me now. Only dying for an honorable cause, like freeing the wolf from Haven. 
Maybe I can keep you from buying our independence. And Neelan. Down there is dead. You take the key from around his leg. I don't mind so much, but it feels pretty senseless. I mean, I understand. It does end up meaning murder to some extent. You're in a holding chamber between the cell block and the cave where all the scorpions spawn. The gate to the north is closed. The south gate is open. You get worried. After being repeatedly ambushed in the roll gates, you immediately suspect a trap. Not much I can do about it now, can I? The south gate starts to close behind you. You try to stop it, but it's too fast. As it strikes the ground with a massive crash, the north gate opens. You can't be sure whether someone is intentionally trapping you, or this is just an automatic system to keep the scorpions from escaping. And it would make sense to have an automated situation here because scorpions big blue scorpion big blue scorpion scorpion Big blue, big blue scorpion. going there and that's a majority smaller ones at least oh did get that one okay Cleared. helps
the answer. Looking up, you see a stone platform around 40 feet above you. This is where the condemned prisoners of the vault meet their final fate. There are discarded loops of rope everywhere. You suspect the prisoners are bound and lowered down on these ropes. Once they are deposited safely on the ground, the guards above drop the rope. Then, well, scorpions. That's dark. Okay, guys. That is actually going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye!